Hello beautiful Cancers, how are you today? Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a subscriber or returning visitor. We are looking at love for Cancer. What's happening Cancer? At the bottom of the deck you have the Four of Swords. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the deck and see what happens with that. So let's see, we have the energy in the recent past between you and a beloved is temperance card trying to work things out sagittarius energy being very good natured being open-hearted the guardian angel is surrounding this relationship in both of you and your heart space the ten of swords a current energy is feeling defeated feeling as though there's nothing more that you can do no further that you could go it does the ten of swords is traditionally thought to be a card of betrayal but it is a mutual energy so it's a very interesting place it appears that the trust has been broken in the relationship we'll clarify that to find out more of course there we have leo energy so your person really has fire in their belly for you they're very calm they're not really taking action right now but this is not a person who's going to give up on you the lion never leaves excuse me the lion or lioness never leaves the side of the lamb so it, it really is a beautiful energy leo season you know we're in leo season right now so it does show that there's some healing that has to go on in this relationship. But, you know, overall, the temperance and strength card as major arcana is a huge plus. The way your person views you, Cancerian energy. Cancer, you've arrived in your reading. Welcome. The two of cups is all about you seeing them and them seeing you as an immensely, like they see you as a perfect partner. You're a love partner. You're really good. They want to twine their hands with yours. In the Rider weight, it's a bride and groom taking their vows together. But the Two of Cups is really speaking about the fact that they would, they view you as a person who's very loving and someone who gives a lot of love. In their heart space, they're feeling very heartbroken. I do feel as though this is very self-imposed because when we look at the Five of Coins, this person has locked themselves out because there's a key here and how to get in the door is right here in front of the person. This person is not really viewing things in the proper light because very clearly this is a, you know, a false narrative that they've set for themselves. You know, this person, all they have to do is pull their head up out of their shoulders and look and the answer is here. So they're feeling very sad, very lonely feels like uh, some unrequited love here how they see the situation or the relationship moving forward five of cups they're not very optimistic right now again they feel very sad very lonely the five of cups energy is scorpio energy so it does look like with this ending they are now feeling the repercussions of what has happened here i would say that this person is likely to have hurt you instead of vice versa because of the way they see you so if there were any ten of swords energies this is what's making them feel that they locked themselves out you know how when you you're in a hotel room and you step into the hallway and the door slams shut and if you've ever watched mr bean you could be in you could be naked <laughs> it shows and feeling very vulnerable um mr bean is a comedian in britain and very funny at that but this isn't so funny to your person because what i'm getting here is that they feel really locked out but they have done this to themselves through their actions is what i'm seeing they feel as though there's no hope left the mutual energy is both of you are upset with each other two of swords energy not speaking your person doesn't want to hear the truth so i see you as the truth teller this person doesn't really want to hear the truth yet. They're not really ready to hear the truth. But you need to tell the truth to have some sort of reunion. This is a number one reunion card, by the way. For So for those who are in uh, separation, it appears that uh, many of you who are watching may be in separation. Uh, that really is the energy that both of you want to be together and reconcile. Number one card of reconciliation. Spirit is saying, be patient. Scorpio energy. Give this just a bit of time. 
and it does look like there is a return six of cups is the energy of a reunion because Scorpio is all about death and rebirth and that is the recommendation of spirit go ahead take a chance you should unite again in your love relationship the outcome at the present time for the next two weeks is three of cups celebration getting together breaking bread having fun i like i like the ending i don't like obviously what happened here in the center there's a lot of sadness the two of you are very very heartbroken without each other very heartbroken so let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers are and see what we have for our beautiful cancers okay so why do we have temperance why is temperance here why is temperance here for you okay i'm gonna take these we have temperance the lovers card smoking hot red hot lovers making the choice to come together again both of you energetically have been moving close together even though you don't see it yet this is both of you slow walking forward cancer here you are again in your reading you have let this person sizzle and simmer in the sauce of their own making you have not contacted them you have been at peace with yourself though it's been tough i would say look at that three of cups energy your best friends you were best friends for a long time cancerian energy again both and you are holding back cancer again once again you know both of you have been holding back but you're more powerful here you're holding back something that's very valuable which is a deep level of love and you are dealing with most likely a taurus or uh, somebody who is very successful in their job the king of pentacles is taurus energy but it's also manifesting this is a person who works a lot who earns a lot who's earned everything that they've ever had however they have deep passion for you with the red the library is that they're learning and this person is very loyal with this beautiful german shepherd right there coin is what they've been focusing on in in your absence cancer we have the page of swords this person is checking up on you they are spying on you i don't really think for some of you that this is um social media necessarily i get a very in-person feel like somebody driving by your house and hoping that they could see you um anything like that you know just really trying to spy on you in a direct way because they're looking for you walking okay five of wands this person's very ego driven. We have two Leo cards and they've really put you in some sort of situation where you felt like you had to compete for their attention. Why did you have to compete for their attention? Why that nonsense for our cancers? This person's very defensive. They're afraid of love somehow. I'm getting that they have old wounds to heal. Ace of Cups, they love you. They absolutely love you. They're falling in love with you all over again, too, Cancer, because the Ace of Cups is the beginnings and stirrings of new love. So we go the Ace to the Two, to the Three. Look at that. Nice. Okay. So you are going through a cycle right now. I feel as though you've known each other a long time, maybe as much as, you know, 14 years, maybe as much as five for some. It'll be different. But this is a predictive reading. This is not a reading that tells the story of everything you know. So it's very likely I'm going to say things here that will not resonate because I'm doing predictive work for your future in this connection. So we have the energy. Oh, nice. We have the Two of Cups is going. <laughs> Do not pass. Oh, go pass, go collect 200. Isn't that what the Monopoly board says? They see you as the one cancer. Look at this. The Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Marriage Card, Bride and Groom, Happily Ever After. They feel as though their future is with you. The Magician Card says that they're trying to manifest you, but they can't manifest you from a place of healing. They have to, oh, look at this, two cards of healing. So it does say that they're not in good shape right now. This is a person who looks like they're kind of depressed, down and out, feeling as though you are the light of their life you're the beauty you are the message of love that they've experienced and look at this we have 
the five of cups clarifying the five of cups so they're doubly upset of course they have done this to themselves so we see page of coins look at that taking action finally okay so then we get the queen of pentacles so your person has a very strong desire to love you and nurture you and give to you in very dynamic ways capricorn energy that's very serious energy capricorn is ruled by the planet saturn and it's all about taking care of your responsibilities the star card is they see you as a rock star in their life they see you as beautiful physically spiritually emotionally you have a very healing effect on this person you've always given them a great deal you've always been very loyal and faithful to them as a friend emotionally why do we have the two of swords this is like leave me alone i can't take anymore i'm so stressed out that is mutual energy just in case you didn't like my fake voice it's like both of you are so stressed out you really can't handle much more stress in this connection the queen of swords says that both of you are very seriously thinking about what the future looks like what you want the fact that you want each other is still very clear because look at this the queen of swords is facing a reunion and the direction of the cards is very significant here so both of you really want a relationship of value cancer here you are again in your reading both of you want to enjoy the love that you embody, Cancer. You are the light. You are the star. You are the soulmate. There's nobody who can really compete with you happily ever after. You are the essence of joy and happiness to them, Cancer. Really look at there. What, what do we see? Now we get the temperance card again. This is a reunion card. This is a reconciliation card. This is balancing things out. Wow, this is a very dynamic reading. All right, so show us why the Three of Cups is here for your outcome. The Queen of Wands. So somebody decides to take action. And again, Aries energy, Leo energy, very interesting, Sagittarius. So you have a grand trine, which is a spiritual blessing, blessing your love relationship. Grand trines are thought to be past life, blessings from past lives. The soulmate card is a past life connection. This is really, really beautiful reading. So let's look and see what the um, message of love oracle card has for you. This person was unavailable. They were emotionally and they're currently emotionally unavailable. They're unable to give all you deserve, and they know that. So let's see what else we have. Let's pull a, several of these out of here to get a full story. We have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. All right. So you, them missing you is part of their healing. We saw the cards of healing right there. This person has really, really had a tough time. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. That is what the temperance means. And fate, this is a destined partnership. Okay. So, Spirit is telling us through the cards that you will reconcile. The timing is dependent upon the healing of your person of interest. Let's look and see what the Moonology says about this relationship for your Cancer. Let's see what is the message for Cancer. What is the message for Cancer about their love relationship? A personal issue. Okay, there's your lover. A personal issue that has caused them a lot of torment, has caused this person to walk away, has reached its conclusion. All right, that is such great news, Cancer. Let's look and see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for advice for you. So sitting tight, staying in your in your wisdom, staying in your power. You have done that. We have, you are completing a cycle. There is a cycle completing here. And it's the healing cycle that I'm seeing. Teachability, this person is now teachable. They actually can be open. They can open their heart, their mind. They can open their thought process, their emotions their energy 
when we see that strength card, they have fire in their belly for you. Okay, Feast of Plenty. The lesson learned here from your person is that choices have their consequences. So, all right, Cancer, that's really great energy for you. It looks like your person has really gone through Dark Night of the Soul. It looks like they're going to come out of Dark Night of the Soul and reach out to you. And that is really gorgeous. So, I mean, I haven't, this is really, this is an incredible reading with all the cards of union. It shows divine timing is really the key. Cancer, it has been a joy. Thank you so much for joining me, and I so appreciate your viewing. Thank you. Bye-bye.